I can see where these come in handy. Little disclaimer, you might hear some uh, baby voices in the background. That's the grandson getting wound up. Um, just, just ignore it. Dog flapping, dog noises. All sorts of stuff. It's a madhouse around here. This is partially why videos don't come out. Yeah. I can see where these will help a smoker quit smoking. Um, however, it's, it's it's not for me. And all right, go drink your water dish instead of the one that's out here. Come on, come on. Flappy, 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 flappy. But uh, yeah, um, I've refilled this with some. Uh, Max PG simple raspberry flavoring, um, which is usually pretty potent. I have it in this bottle right here, and uh, yeah, it's potent enough to where it almost smells like uh, nail polish remover. You know, it's in your face. Um, not really anything. Um, a hint of sweetness. I don't understand why so many people, uh, you know, that have other things, other things. That is so much more enjoyable. So much flavor. So much. Oh, mm, yeah. Good. Mm, you could quit smoking with this because it doesn't taste like ass, but. Even the mango flavored pods, which is what I'd picked up for these. Um, nah, nah. Sure, it's small, stealthy. Yeah, the pods come in like 50 milligram. 50. Um, and hardly any flavor at all. So, it's uh, off of that. Um, Next, next. I'm just going to roll a bunch of stuff in here. So just bear with me. Don't bear with me. Don't skip what, whatever you like, okay? So uh, we're going to put uh, the bait mail from yesterday in here. We're going to put it on the old FP deck, ugh, FP deck, you know? And uh, something else uh, worth mentioning. Everybody else goes, uh, all oh, these screws don't last. They're, they're bad and wonky. Well, yeah, I don't agree, agree with the uh, screw heads themselves, you know, those flathead Phillips, whatever. But, uh, this awesome little uh, coil master from the uh, version 1 kit comes with all sorts of nice attachments. And one of them, yeah, sneeze, baby. One of them fits perfectly in there. And my screw heads aren't getting messed up, so uh, go get one one of those uh, little screwdriver kits if you're having an issue. Um, not necessarily the coil master one. Go down to the hardware store, or whatever Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever you got. Just go get a bunch of those uh, bits that come with one of these screwdriver heads. You know, this one happens to unscrew and just holds a bunch of bits inside of it. Hey, it works great. All right, enough of that noise. So what we got here, I'm going to try to zoom in, okay? I know my settings are only set at 480 and uh, 30 frames per second, all right? I know that. It's a laptop, okay? Um, and it's not, I know, it's not the best laptop, but it's my laptop. Out of focus? Sure. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's see how, how we can do this here. I'm going to get right up in there with my grubby fingers. These are uh, lethal coils. They do have a nice way, little wavy pattern to them. So, yes, my actual first aliens. Very nicely done. Very time consuming. Very time consuming. Uh, I'm not willing to do it. 
I'm not willing to do it at all. Uh, closest I come is making some Clapton wire. Um, anybody that's uh, familiar with aliens, uh, you take a couple of cores, right? You Clapton them. You pull all that Clapton right back off so you get this nice wavy pattern in the wire. And then you re-Clapton them. That's a simple way to say it. I'm sure it takes way more effort than that. I'm not willing to do that. But I'm glad other people are. Thanks, Chris. Lethal Coils. Um, dog drives me nuts. She's got bad ears. It's not really her fault. But still drives me nuts. Um, I don't know if I can flip this. I got a mouse in front of me. All sorts of stuff in front of me. We're going to put two of these coils in the FP. Shall we see if we can do this? Oh! Jeez. Uh, it's not really editing, but if if, if he starts getting needy, I might have to pause this for a minute. All right, just put that out there. All right. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something like that. It's not exactly where we want to be. I know I don't want to zoom in. None of that jazz. These are three millimeter alien coils. All right. Hi, other dog. Um, now, of course, that one wants a drink, too. And no, I didn't clean this out. I just drained the juice out of the tank, what was left. And, uh, come on. Come on, little clamp. There you go. Um, drain the juice out of it. And, uh, away we go. And how do I want to set this up? About right there? Sure. I am. Building on the FP is so hard. It's so difficult. I mean, look at this. It took me probably three seconds to get that coil into that clamp right there. Hi, dog. Really down, dog. And I'll give it a nice little crank. All right. I don't need to straighten it out yet. Yes, I put it very close to the side. All right. Dog's back again. Bear with us, folks. Bear with us. This is uh, the normal noises of this house lately. Should be done in a minute. I don't have these clamps super loose. So, it does take me a second to get them in there. Are you good? I'm just trying to make sure I have this lined up about where I want it. Like I said, three millimeter inside diameter. I know. I repeat stuff. I do. I think, uh, I'm sorry to say it, but I think it's because I watch so many Grim Green videos and he says everything four times. I don't know. Maybe that's it. When's the good old Jared the Vaping Goat coming back so we can all hear, It is what it is. <laughs> Sorry, Jared. I had to. Um, so I'm just going to pull this out a little bit, straighten it out, whatever. Pull this one out a little bit. Little, little bend, little tweak. Man, you don't put your stuff on a stand or anything. What for? It's in my hand. I can. It's it's an FP. It's thirty frickin' millimeters. If you can't hold on to that, something wrong. Um, damn, I forgot the wire clippers around here. All right, that's it. Let me grab the wire clippers. Oh, yeah, you know. Um, sometimes you forget the wire clippers. Okay, sometimes you do. It happens. It happens to all of us. This is uh, you know, I kind of wish that some of these uh. Other fellows out there would just
let it roll. But for other things, you know, for small things, you know, your coil review or something or whatnot, um, you know, your build, oh, you, you couldn't get the coil in or whatever 30 times you tried it. That's just funny to watch. Why do I have to wait for an end of the year clip um, of you putting bloopers out? Just, sure, throw it in there. If people don't want to watch it, they can just roll through it, skip through a little bit. I don't know. You guys take an awful lot of time um, going through and uh, editing it out. All the bullshit really makes it seem more like a job. Which, for a few of you out there, it is your job. But, you know, not everybody. Let's open the airflow up all the way while we're here. New coil. Yes, it is. 0.15. Um, I'm going to drop this down to 40 watts. It is the one thing I don't like about, you know, you all say what you want about the Vupu products. Um, one thing I don't like about this is it always starts out at whatever it wants to be for the ohms. This is the uh, drag, the original drag. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see your burn. Kento, we're gonna be a little uh, happy with this. I guess is the word I want to use. Sorry, I need a little shadow to see what I'm doing. There we go. There we go. Just a little strumming. I don't even know that I'm going to push these together any farther than they are. They look pretty damn good the way they are. This one can take a little, a little extra oomph. That's it's pretty nice. Let's see here. Let me get the shine out of there. Glow from the inside out, no hot spots. Just, uh, just a beautiful thing right off the bat. What did that take? A couple seconds. Nicely done. Um, what are we gonna vape? What do you want to vape? I still got vape wild stuff up there. I got a few higgy sigs up there. I got, uh, I got some vape and watch up there that I know I should probably put out for review. Um. I don't know. Let's go with uh, let's go with some RY4 from Vape Wild. I've already vaped 60 mils of this. I know what it tastes like. Um, I do like to uh, do this before I start anything off. Why? Because I do. It gives me a good idea what's going to happen. That's not bad. You couldn't see it because of the window. But I saw it. I'm pretty happy with that. See how this rolls out. You know, RY4, it's like a caramelized vanilla, tobacco. They're all basically around the same when they say RY4. Um, little differences, you know, company to company. But you guys really want to see this? All right, whatever. You guys are so picky. You know. I don't know why I picked this shirt today, but I did. So, there's a million ways to do this. My way and your way may be different. Nobody's way is completely correct. However, it vapes for you is how it vapes for you. You do you. I'll do me. Everybody will be happy and free. All right. How's the audio coming out? Good? All right. It sounds great. Um, a million ways you can do this, you take that, you make life easy on yourself, and cut a little notch out of that mud of brother right there, and, uh, roll it up in your greasy little piglet fingers, because, fuck pig, piglet fingers and fuck pig, all together again, alright? Remember, today's cotton is tomorrow's future future, future, something, I don't know, um, all right, that went right in, not super tight, not super loose, I, uh, you know, every, every type of coil is a little bit different too, some of them like a little bit tighter cotton, 
So I'm like a little bit looser cotton, and I like to put my cotton in opposite ways every time I do it. You're a happy boy, aren't you? You're a happy boy in there. He's just screaming. Look at dog hair. Oh, that that always tastes wonderful. Always tastes wonderful. So uh, yeah, whenever I can get to those uh, juices, I will get to those juices up there. Um, what do we do here? You see the edges of the FP? I know I'm a, I'm a little bit away, but uh, the edge of the FP, I go just a hair beyond the edge of the FP. Just a hair beyond the edge of the FP. The actual base, the actual 30 mil part of the FP. All right. And then uh, I do just minor because, as you noticed, I left the outer layers of this cotton on. Yes, I did. Why'd you do that? Everybody takes those layers off. I don't know. I'm too damn lazy to do that every time. Besides, if it works for you, it works for you. If it works for me, it works for me. I'm, I'm more, you know, into what works for me. As long as it works for me, I'm happy. So, I don't tease a lot out of it. Because these uh, juice wells are awfully generous. So, if you need to tease some more out, tease some more out. If you don't, you don't. Uh, I will say... Leave a gap in at least one side of your cotton. Did you switch? You went to the ceramic one. Because the ceramic one's nice and smooth, and I don't catch any of the pokey bits on there like I do with the uh, other one with the the needle nose uh, type. And we just shove it in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, just get it in there. Doesn't matter. Just get it in there right off the bat. All right. We don't care. It takes two seconds. Just put the damn cotton in the damn hole. All right. Just. Move it around, wiggle it, make it touch the bottom, don't make it touch the bottom, however it works for you, all right? All right, you can see, mine's a little longer than some, <laughs> it goes down there, all right? Still got this handy dandy tool, I'm going to go between the coils, I'm going to trace down this cotton right here, and I'm going to separate it. Why are you doing that? Well, if I separate the cotton up here, it creates a little tiny juice hole. I don't know if you can see that, but it creates a little tiny juice hole, all right? And bubbles and goodness and everything right down the center again. Just comb that hair out. Separate them. Ooh, a little squeaky action. That's what I do. May not be what you do. And uh, then I go behind both of them, do a little pinch, and I pull up a little bit. Go behind both of them, pinch it, pull it up a little bit. Now they're not touching the deck. And they have this nice little poofiness to them. Let's call that poofiness, all right? Sure, why not? Poofy. And we can suck in some juice, yeah. We just suck in some juice, yeah. Oh, I see some of my cotton came out. Give me a second here. We shall rectify that situation real quick. Hello. Uh, your order was delivered. Well, that's nice. Not really my order, but I know what they're talking about. I'm going to go back down here and I'm going to separate this now that they're nice and wet. Just to make sure I have that little tiny hole in there. Sometimes it's better to do it while it's all wet. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They've been, I tell you. Hard to get away from all the dirtiness of vaping. 
All right. Did my ohms stay the same? It looks like they did. 0.15. Uh, and I like to recheck on this every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Close the airflow. Open the airflow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 0.16. So it only changed a little bit. That's not bad. That's neither here nor there. You know, any other would have changed a hell of a lot more. That's uh, 55 watts is 3 volts. Ooh, 3 volts. Ooh. You're so crazy. Yep. Got the bubble glass back. Come on. Come on. Get it on there. Get it on there. Okay. Lethal coils, Chris. In the FP, Mark, TVP. Yeah. So, uh, Fape Wild Juice. She will just throw everybody in here today. Why not? A little Coil Master, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bouncing baby, a couple of dogs drinking. Oh, it takes forever to fill this thing up. I'm only going to go to the top of the FP, I think. You know, the top of the chamber. That'll be good for what we're doing. It just takes so long to fill up with these. They're hard PET bottles. Uh, Half-ass chubby gorilla style. Whatever. Oh, shit. You can't even see that because of the window. Sorry. Um, yeah. Ah, I like the FP. Um, you know, I'll probably spend a little bit of time with this, but so far, so good. Thank you very much. Lethal coins. Sorry, I just I stopped linking anything. So Lethal Coils does have a uh, 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 YouTube channel. You want to check them out? Lethal Coils with a Z. Oh, I went to sleep. Hope that didn't affect the video. The whole laptop went to sleep. I'm digging it. I'm not. Uh, I'm not sensing any new nuances because of the alien coils. Um, it's about the same flavor I've been getting out of some of my other coils up here. Um, a little bit more punch to it than what I've been normally getting. So, aliens, cool. Uh, we'll see how this does. You know. I don't do a whole lot of rewicking and all that, but uh, we'll throw some fruit flavors in it down here, down the week, however long it takes me to get the juice out, whatever. Just it's like breathing, bro. Three millimeter inside diameter alien coils from Lethal Coils. Um, FP wide open. Only 55 watts. Uh, we can probably go more. I don't know. Should we go up to mech mod status? Let's go up to 4 volts. What does that take us to? 75 watts? Nope, that's 3.4. Uh, let's go to 100 watts. That's 4 volts. Okay. Mech mods drain 3.7 volts. It's 4 volts. 100 watts. All right. I see the glare. 100 watts. A little bit more gurgly. Really, really warm. Seem to be doing just fine. I love that rattlesnake sound. Love that. That brings out a little bit more caramel and vanilla out of the RY4. Uh, makes it a more pungent tobacco too so 
Good on the aliens. I like that. That's that's pretty good. I may have to uh, may have to uh, start ordering some of those. Tasty treat. Probably can be beat, but you know it's a tobacco. It's a tobacco. I'm gonna roll that back down because that's just a battery slayer right there. Seventy five. Seventy five. That's uh, three and a half volts. <coughs> Get the vapor up. That's what I got for you. Little lethal coils. Little build. Do this. Uh, thinking about uh, just doing some simple builds for people. There's a lot of new vapors out there, even though the good old FDA is cracking down, whatever. Whatever, 95% safer than traditional tobacco cigarettes. Royal College of Physicians, put that out there. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, uh, calls to action, all that jazz. Casa, sure, look it all up. Um, I think that's what I got for you today. Just uh, we got two more coils sitting here. I may uh, I may try to just rock a single. In one of the others, um, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how a single does. That's 0 0.16, so hmm, might be 0.25 because it's alien nature. Ooh. Alien nature. Ooh. Cool, cool. I liked it. Did you like it? No editing. I didn't have to pause it. It was pretty calm. A uh, few little screams. And, uh, y'all have fun now. I know, I will.